Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Vito324. Back again with another BeamNZ Derby video. Uh, today's video, we are going to be focusing on Zoff Custom Class's newest class that he has actually redid, which is the Light Weld class. Um, this subframer that I'm running is actually built exactly to the rules. Um, setup is the normal setup that I normally run in the subframer um, since it come out um, I'm pretty happy with it but we're going to see how it holds up um, the next heat that I'm going to be running is going to be a kicker Buick with the new disc trunk in it um, that was released in the last update um, on RDP uh, trunk update number three I think it is so we're gonna check that out and see how it holds up um, my last video um, was the remake of my tutorial video of how to get set up with RDP on BeamNG and I've got a lot of positive reviews on it so uh, thank you guys uh, very much if it if it helped you or a friend out, uh, go back on that video and give that one a thumbs up. It would be much, much appreciated. Um, so the most common question that I get is which mods or where do I get mods uh, or what mods do I support? Um, they are in the description of every one of my videos. Um, I've said this time and time again. Uh, the mods that I do support are in the description of this video, whether it's on Patreon or in Discord for free. Um, I also have a few other links in there, um, including my Twitch. Um, I, I stream on Twitch multiple times a week. Um, it could be anything from Beam, uh, just doing AI fun runs, uh, Daisy, um, just all kinds of different stuff. So... I'll say, guys, if you guys enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button. It would be much, much appreciated. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and also, I do have a Discord server of my own. Uh, the link to that is in the description. Um, I am very easy to get a hold of on Discord. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or recommendations on what you guys want to see on the channel. So... We're going to see how this Imperial holds up to the light weld rules. Um, looks like we got a pretty wide variety of different cars. We got a T Bird, a Pala, got a two door Lincoln, a couple shockers, a Bubble Vic over there, another Impala, Vic Wagon, and it looks like a 74 Olds 98. So there's definitely a good variety of vehicles on the track. Uh, speaking of the track, this is a track that was released by rdp tracks um you can find that in the realistic derby project patreon um that is the ten dollar tier i do believe uh this track uh we ran on for uh spring nationals i think the show was called um so yeah uh this is actually the first time i run on this track um for my uh my channel so Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do, hit that thumbs up button. And anyway, I'm done talking. Let's get smashing.
<clears throat> All right. So, overall, the engine got pretty hot, and I suspect that it was because of my transmission choice and the rear gear selection that I did. <laughs> uh, this this car tried something new. Uh, it's got the Fred's Turbo 400 three-speed. And I don't believe I changed my rear gear <clears throat> that I normally run with the manual transmission. So it's pretty much got road gears in it. <clears throat> so, yeah, not uh, not good. This car needs a uh, something more steep than an, a 500, maybe a 6 with the uh, three-speed trans. I might get back to this car in a future video, see, uh, see if I can improve on it. So, with that said, we're going to go ahead and switch to the Buick. Tab on over here to Zoff's Kicker. There it is. Yeah, Zoff's Custom Classes is, is a, uh, it's a pretty good mod to have, especially if you want to test your cars to a specific rule set. Uh, Zoff's got a wide variety of classes available. And of course, as I said before in the beginning of the video, his link is in the description to his Patreon. All right, spawn the Buick in here. All right, here we go. What a door shot.
right, so that was the kicker Buick. Um, overall, um, it's a pretty good car, um, I think. Uh, the back end rolls the way that I want. Could be a little tighter, though, on the second dimple. I think I'm going to adjust the uh, the percentage on that dimple, the, the second one. The first one is right behind the bumper. Second one is about right here, right there. I think I'm going to adjust that one a little bit more. The nose on these, um, they're, they are pretty hard, but I don't recommend doing what I did. <laughs> um, I went nose to nose with a T-Bird pretty early and it bent it pretty good. But that door shout that I took by one of the T-Birds, that was pretty bad. <laughs> that was, uh... That was, uh, that was gnarly. I mean, the door is literally hitting me in the hip right now. <laughs> I mean, there's a, a bumper imprint from the T-Bird. That's pretty, that's, uh, that's pretty gnarly. But, um, one thing that I do have to point out, uh, that not a lot of people may, well, a couple things. Um, one, a couple things that I do have to point out with the most recent update, uh, to RDP is he retextured the forklift tires. Um, they look like the Samson 550s, which is a really good thing in my opinion, because I prefer the Samson 550s over the BKT 550s, which these tires used to be based off of. Um, I've never really been a huge fan of the BKT 550s. Um, but, and another thing is he added the Reba specials again, which is actually one of my favorite headers in the game. Very, very old school. So... That's going to be the video, you guys. Um, if, if you guys did enjoy it, uh, let me know in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It would be much, much appreciated. Um, I am looking to hit 3,500 subscribers by the end of the year. And at the pace that we're going, um, I'm getting about 30 to 40 subscribers a week which is amazing. Um, I appreciate all of your guys' support. I really do. Uh, without you guys, I really wouldn't be motivated to post videos um, as much as I am lately. So thank you guys so, so much for all of the support. Um, next video should be coming out uh, within the next week. Um, I may do a tune-up video on the sub framework that you guys just seen in the first heat here. So stay tuned for that. But until then, guys, uh, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching.